Well, we know what a difficult uh, couple months it's been for parents. Mm. This is what they're finding at the store when they look for baby formula, bare shelves. Uh, this morning, though, we are taking a 360 in-depth look at this issue with several solutions to this crisis underway. Yeah, the agreement the FDA has reached with Abbott Nutrition, its baby formula factory, has been closed for three months because of bacteria found inside. Plus, we are live from Washington with the changes Congress and the White House are both considering to help restock the shelves. And I talked to a doctor and breastfeeding specialist about getting your baby the proper nutrition without formula. First off, 90% of the nation's formula supply comes from just four companies. That's why the shutdown of Abbott's largest factory had such an impact on the market. It was closed after the FDA found unsanitary conditions there, but the company says an investigation found no evidence linking its formula to any infant illnesses. The agreement with the FDA lays out steps for the plant to resume production. That plan still needs court approval, but Abbott says it might be able to restart production in about two weeks. It would still take another six to eight weeks to get products back on store shelves. Yeah, certainly a, a dire situation for a lot of families right now. Denver 7's Joe St. George continues our in-depth coverage this morning live from Washington. Several votes happening this week to help bring more formula mm -hmm. back to the market. Hey, uh, good morning, guys. Yeah, this is an issue impacting uh, a lot of new moms uh, in Colorado, a lot of new moms around the country. One big question a lot of moms are having is, well, why did it take so long for lawmakers to act urgently on this issue? We have some graphics, some charts to share with you of how this has really been a problem that you could see to some degree for the last a couple of months, increasing gradually the number of out-of-stock formula in stores. Uh, this is tracked uh, by the companies who, are, who track where exactly baby formula uh, can be found. You mentioned what is happening, right? First step, the plant reopening, the FDA giving clearance, the federal government giving clearance for a temporary reopening, as you mentioned, still needs to be finally approved. But the bad news for parents in Colorado this morning is that opening this plant in Michigan, it doesn't happen just like that. You said two weeks until it could come online, several more weeks until uh, though that plant will begin producing baby formula that can be used in shelves. That's why Congress, the Biden administration, the Justice Department stepping in to allow importing baby formula from countries in South America, countries like Ireland uh, that have ample supply, loosening some of the restrictions. An emergency funding request is also being considered in Congress so that that money will be available. A website's up, guys, hhs.gov slash formula. Again, hhs.gov slash formula, where parents with questions can go to get the very latest on this. Congress is starting to address this issue now. How quickly they get it to the shelves in Colorado and elsewhere, though, remains very much to be determined. Guys, back to you. Yeah, could, could take a while still. Thank you, uh, Joe St. George in Washington. For women wondering if breastfeeding more could help compensate for the formula shortage, it may not be so easy. We can't just blanketly say that, oh yes, um, just increase your own supply because there's a lot more to it than that. Also, we need to look at the age of the baby. Um, definitely a newborn when they are the first two weeks breastfeeding, um, if you do choose to do it, please reach out to lactation support. Please reach out to um, someone like me who can help you really establish breastfeeding because that is really the critical time. Yeah, so, so breastfeeding can be great if you can do it early on. For older infants, uh, nine months or older who are starting to eat solid foods though, they may not even need that much formula anymore. Dr. Patel says, talk to your pediatrician about getting your baby the right nutrients from other foods. Well, this won't help with inventory, but it might help with funding. Colorado Senator Michael Bennett is still fighting to expand the child tax credit and make it permanent. The American Rescue Plan expanded the tax credit for one year and families were able to get monthly checks in the last half of 2021. Bennett told Colorado Public Radio the expanded credit has proved its value though because Americans are spending the money on essentials like clothing, rent and food.